what's up my little title talk what are you doing today well if you are kanye west and bianca besides letting your wheels hang low and wobble and woe and yes we are talking about kanye and the way he is trying to make low rise pants happen for men and women you might be sitting here feeling mighty mighty vindicated you guys what am i talking about pink davidson just confirmed everything Kanye accused him about when he was with Kim. On top of that, Pete is trying to make the ultimate come up and date Britney. On top of that, they're saying Kim is trying to get back with Pete. Now, here's the thing. I don't, well, Kim's done a lot of things that are questionable, but I don't think she would actually be trying to get back with that Dorito scented mofo, but she did say that she was down for some BDE. And y'all, on top of that, I know it's on top of that day, people are blaming Kanye for Saint being with his mama and raising his middle finger up. Now, listen, let's talk about this. Blame Kanye for that. Now, I know what y'all saying. When is Kanye ever going to be with those kids? Because we ain't see him in a fortnight around his children. Okay, fine. The streets are saying that him and Kim have an agreement that as soon as he is done filming his album, he will jump back into daddy duties. So let's not forget that even when Kanye and Kim was around, she would let Kanye, but, well, I don't want to say let, but they agreed that he could disappear, go make some money, film his album, do his fashion line, and then he would jump back into parenting duties. It's the same thing. And we all know Kardashians love money, right? So maybe he isn't an absentee dad. However, right, let's just say this. One, I think everybody's missing something. Saint flipped off the paparazzi. He did not flip off his teachers. He did not flip off the person that raised them, <laughs> his nanny. He didn't flip off, he flipped off the paparazzi. Grown people cannot stand the paparazzi. They are evasive, they are annoying. Again, they are a needed part of the celebrity ecosphere not only needed but they are chased after you got to have to remember they all go to a school i don't know if i can say the name but everybody knows the school they go to it is an elite private school but not only that almost everybody in the los angeles area that is rich powerful and or famous send their kid to sierra canyon they send their kids to that school i'll see if i can beep it out the fact that Kim, and don't get me wrong, the Kardashians are famous, but the fact that Kim is the only parent you see going on walks with her kids to their events, why is that? Oh my God, well, she can't help if she's walking to school. Yes, she actually can, because there is an entrance where no paparazzi are, are, that are allowed, that all the other rich, powerful, and famous people, and there are people more powerful, more rich, and even more famous than the Kardashians, they go to that school, that they take that interest so that they can pick their kids up, drop them off, and leave without anybody noticing. The reason Kim is always photographed it's because she wants to be photographed she wants she wants remember when north tried to curse out the paparazzi and she's like north be nice to him that they, they took pictures of me early on remember this instead of wondering why saint is flipping off the paparazzi why do we wonder why kim got her kids out there on the stroll working like they are like working like the rents do that's what we need to ask as a matter of fact but hold on The skeet passed around Davidson has confirmed that he took ketamine for four years before entering rehab. If you're wondering what rehab stint it was, it was his last stint in rehab that he just got out of, right? Now, here's my opinion of why I think Pete is releasing this. Do you guys know that when he got out, and I think he went into re rehab to avoid any charges that might have come from him hitting, right? that house in Beverly Hills with Chase Sue. Now he has dumped Chase Sue. We know from reports that he wants to date Britney Spears because to him, that would be the ultimate come up. It sounds like he is still on ketamine. But anyway, and get this. He talked about his past use usage at a comedy show after leaving rehab. 
okay? He was opening up about the struggles he underwent before entering rehab early this week. Now, I will say this, good for him for getting help, and these type of issues are very, very serious. However, am I the only one that actually feels like Pete's starting to use this as an excuse? Do you know why he's even releasing this information? Because he was at a comedy night telling jokes about being a slave master and they were so off color, so disgusting, so revolting that a black woman told him, yelled, you are a racist. This is the man that Kim had playing daddy to her kids, was making sl jo slave jokes. For those of y'all be like, oh my God, it's comedy. Is it okay to sit there and make jokes about other things, right? Other issues that maybe happen in Germany, other issues that happen in like France. Like, is that okay? Do you know what I'm saying? It is such a dark mark in history. And to see people in the audience, you were playing stepdaddy. Kim was trying to force it to kids that present black and you're making, the girl yelled, you are a racist. It, that's how dark these jokes got, like just sick. She said, you're a racist. Pete then went to go on and proceed and curse out the black woman, called her a see you in next Tuesday and told her to shut that F up and literally got thuggy ruggy like she he was going to assault her. They literally had to shut the comedy show down because of him and his racist jokes and then his open aggression. Let's also not forget that Pete said he would never date a black woman because he doesn't want to be fussed at all the time. Pete got issues and this is who she... He, he, Kim had around her kids, but this also lets you know why can't Pete can't Kim can't get another man. Because um he said that uh he reported he was being treated for post-traumatic stress disorder and borderline personality disorder, ailments that he spoke about before. He spoke about what sent him to rehab, ketamine use. He told that he took it the disassociative drug daily for four years. Y'all. He just dated Kim last year. That means every morning when he woke up, he was high off his own supply. Kim didn't notice. Remember when Kanye said, keep him away from my wife. I think he's going to get her hooked on. He's a, he's a, remember when he said that everybody's just like, you're so mean, Kanye. What are you talking about? Ba 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 ba. Even though you look at Pete with the sunken eyes looking like the Crypt Tigger, it's like, this is not natural. Kim didn't care. And she had that mofo around her kids while he was hot. He said he took that every single day. And he had Norp sitting on the driving a golf cart. Now I see how he lost Saint and Walmart. You know, TMZ even confirmed that. Now I see why he lost Saint and Walmart. He probably didn't even know what world he was on, y'all. He had this is what this man said: Kim's future stepdaddy. It was magical. I'm fresh out of rehab, everyone. I got that post-rehab go seven times the charm. Y'all, they said that K Special K is, is derived from, and it's a nasal spray for treatment-resistant depression in adults. Um, it induces a state of sedation, immobility, relief of pain, amnesia. This is who Kim had driving the golf cart. Um, listen, I will say that um, he's insane. I think that he is adept at always finding an excuse for horrible behavior. I think people always make an excuse for his be horrible behavior. The fact that this man is pushing 30 and people still treat him like he is an 11 year old. The fact that he is now they're now trying to say that he also had to keep using special K because Kanye triggered his PTSD because of what happened with his dad. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Kim should be ashamed of herself. And when Kim wonders why she's having so much trouble dating, finding somebody to stand by her side. I said it before, but this article confirmed it. And just hear me out. The industry knows who Pete Davidson is. The industry knows. They see him high at parties. They saw him on K. They, they saw all that, right? He said he was doing it for four years. He went to parties, I'm assuming. 
One of the reasons I think that people lost so much respect for it is because the industry knows that he's a pass around. The industry knows that he has a reputation of sleeping his way to the top. The industry knows that he's out there walking around like a wackadoodle. The industry knows the, the, the stuff he's into. And the fact that Kim, who Kanye spent all these years, and it, listen, it was her right. He spent all these years building her up. And she decided to take all that social capital she had and double down on that man. And even though Kanye was acting a fool, people don't think like that. All they saw is, you got your kids around this fool? You got your kids around someone I wouldn't even let walk my dog? You got your kids and you're forcing and laughing and Kanye's going crazy because he's like, I'm telling you, this man is insane, right? You doing all this mess, right? You doing all this mess. And now you want to date me? Uh-uh, we ain't having any kids. We ain't doing this because I don't trust your judgment. And that's what Kim is trying to go back. People don't trust her judgment. She has to build up that respect again. And she's doing everything she can. I will just say one thing. Kanye is vindicated. And Kim should be ashamed of herself. That while she was busy slandering the father of her kids and defending this mofo, that in my opinion, she had to know the mess he was in. The only question is, were they partying together? Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.